Hey there, welcome back to the Editor's Keys channel. I'm Mark Brown and welcome to this video. I'm really excited to be joined once again by our friend Premier Gal, and she's been answering some of the common questions that we get about not only video editing, but Adobe Premiere Pro as well. And a common question when we were looking through our comments is, I see a lot of people have issues trying to color match two different shots. Maybe they were filmed on different days, or maybe they're just filmed in different scenes and areas. So that's my question for you today, Premier Girl. How do you color match two different shots? Thanks, Mark. And I think it's a really great question because in today's age, we're shooting video on a bunch of different devices and often have to take all those videos and combine it and edit it together. So if you're shooting on an iPhone, a mirrorless camera, a DSLR, and all of them have different color looks. So how do you match them? Well, there's a really cool tool inside of Premiere Pro that I'm going to show you how to use. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Here in my timeline, I have these two shots from the San Francisco Bay Area. You can see in this first shot that there's a lot more blue-green happening. Even from Lumetri scopes over here, you can see that the blue is far more present than the red. Now going over to the second shot, you can see that there's far more red in this shot. Now what I want to do to make these two shots feel like they were shot by the same camera to make it feel more cohesive and aligned, I actually want to copy the color from this shot on top of this shot. And there's actually a specific tool that enables you to do this inside of the Lumetri color panel. And it's underneath the color wheels and match. The first step is to go to comparison view. So just click on this button and it will actually bring up the comparison view. Right now it's on the horizontal split, but if we go to side by side here, you can see that there's a reference and a current. Now the reference shot is the shot that we wanna copy the color from. So here we can actually scrub through and you can find the actual shot that you wanna copy the color from if it was not already there. So this is the shot that we want to be our reference color and on the right is our current. This is just reflecting the playhead in the timeline. So it's on the correct shot right now. Now all we need to do is make sure that this shot is selected inside of our timeline. Then from color wheels and match, just select apply match. And immediately you will see that the colors shift. So now if we go to the vertical split, you can see that they look a lot more alike. If we uncheck this check mark here from color wheels and match, you will see the before, and then I'll click it back on, and you can see the after. Now watch what happens to the Lumetri scopes of this clip. The after, it brought the red down. If we go to the before, it brings the red back up. So just by using the color wheels and match, what this will do is Premiere Pro will autocorrect the midtones, highlights, and shadows to more closely match the reference shot. So this is a great way to quickly match shots that were either shot in different scenes, different environments. So that way it'll make your film feel more cohesive. Wow, that's so simple, isn't it? I bet a lot of people have been doing this the wrong way around, and it's such a simple tool within Adobe Premiere that really anyone can use. So have you seen this before? Were you even aware of it? I think it's a great tool for color correction if you're a beginner, but it's also super useful if you're a pro as well. I mean, I've personally used it when we filmed shoots on different days. Sometimes the sun's in a different place in the sky, or if we film in different areas of our office building, some of the walls are painted different colors and you actually get a different color cast. So it's a great way of matching the color from two different clips. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a comment below. And we've got more questions coming up for Premiere Girl in the next video.